Uganda's coffee earnings have risen 63% in the last year, with harvest boosted by good weather. The East African nation, which primarily cultivates robusta coffee, is one of Africa's leading exporters of the crop, and its earnings are a key revenue source. VOA's Paul Deal has more. Uganda's Coffee Development Authority, UCDA, reports the country earned more than $400 million between October 2010 and August of this year, nearly doubling earnings from the same period of 2009. The government-run agency says the surge in earnings is due to good weather and the rise in coffee prices on the global market. Over 300,000 bags of coffee were shipped from Uganda in August, bringing the total bean exports at this season to close to 3 million bags. David Barre is with Chagalani Coffee Exporters. I think the weather conditions have been generally fav favorable but quite interesting. They've prompted a, a fly crop in certain growing areas that we hadn't uh, factored into our numbers. The prices have been very, very good indeed on the world market. Uh, coffee prices uh, for both Arabicas and Robustas have uh, increased tremendously. So the income for the Uganda farmer has, uh, has, has really, been, in real terms, uh, doubled o over the last 12, 12 to 18 months. Southern Uganda accounts for nearly half of the country's total coffee production. Next year, Uganda Coffee Development Authority will distribute coffee to farmers who may want to experiment with new varieties that can withstand the drought. Angelo Mukasa is with Chaglani Coffee Research Center in central Uganda. He says the center provides assistance to Uganda's coffee farmers who are now harvesting this year's crop. We have 3,000 registered farmers. We extend to them good agricultural practices and uh, of course the good husbandry for coffee and also for post-harvest handling. The quality is good enough and also that one ensures that we are getting a better market for our produce. Charles Mubiru is a coffee farmer in Kayunga district. He says small Ugandan coffee farmers are still struggling. Coffee farming has improved greatly and the returns are good except that I think there is capacity to produce more. The problem is the taxes on farm inputs. We have pests that destroy our coffee crops, but there are no pesticides to treat our crops. We plead with the government to reduce taxes on farm inputs, so many people would love to grow coffee. Two years ago, Uganda launched the first coffee packaging factory in the region which processes the beans for export. Uganda's longtime leader, General Yowari Museveni, notes that uh, the coffee processing plant brings more money to farmers. Same kilogram for which you are getting one dollar as beans. Once it is processed in this way, roasting or karanga, that's what we call it in our language, and grinding oksa. Then the, the price of the same coffee goes from $1 to $15. That's why I've been telling my European friends that we are the donors. We are the ones donating to you. However, some Ugandan farmers worry that they will remain at the mercy of the middlemen. We are hoping that they would be decent enough to share the additional profits with us. Because if they come here, they will see the high quality of coffee we have. If we have the benefits of the improved price, it will motivate us to improve the quality of our coffee. Analysts say Uganda is among the top largest coffee producers in the world and could become the largest producer in the region. Paul Ndiho, VOA News.